A warm welcome to today's lesson and this question here we're going to do some differentiation of this and we're going to be using the quotient rule. So over here on the right hand side I've written out the quotient rule for you just as a quick reminder. Now the first thing we have to do is to assign u and v. So let u equal x minus 4 cubed and v is the denominator, which is 5 minus x squared. That is all squared. Let's go ahead and differentiate these. So du by dx is equal to the following. The way you do these is you differentiate the bracket. That would give us 1. And then you multiply by the power, so we get a 3. And then we just write out the bracket and reduce the power by 1. dv by dx, same principle. When we differentiate this bracket, we would have negative 2x, which we multiply by the power. So that's negative 4x. And then we have the bracket and reduce the power by 1. That would give us a 1, which we don't need to write. We can now go ahead and apply the quotient rule to these to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to v du dx, so we'll get 3x minus 4 squared multiplied by 5 minus x squared, all squared, minus u dv dx. Now we've got this negative here, and we've also got this negative here, so I can change that to plus, and then we've got 4x, got x minus 4 cubed, and 5 minus x squared. Now that is all over v squared. Now v is 5 minus x squared all squared. So what we have is 5 minus x squared squared, and that is squared. So that is v squared. We can now go ahead and do a little bit of factoring here. We have this x minus 4 squared and x minus 4 cubed. So I can factor out the following, x minus 4 squared. We've also got the 5 minus x squared here and the 5 minus x squared here. So I can factor out a maximum of 5 minus x squared. And then inside the brackets, we would have this 3 I already have the x minus 4 squared here, so I only need a 5 minus x squared. Then we've got the 4x. I've got an x minus 4 squared. I need a cubed, so I need to multiply by x minus 4. And we've already got the 5 minus x squared, so we can finish there. Now that is all over. 5 minus x squared. Now that's all squared and then squared again, so that's to the power of 4. So what we can do here, we can cancel this 5 minus x squared here with one of these, which will leave me with 3. So what we have is x minus 4 squared. And in the brackets, let's expand these brackets, we'd get 15 minus 3x squared. We're going to get a 4x squared here, so plus 4x squared, and then minus 16x. And that is all over 5 minus x squared to the power of 3. Okay, well, this bracket here, we can tidy up this. So we've currently got x minus 4 squared. And then inside the bracket, we've got the minus 3x squared plus 4x squared, so that will give us x squared. We've got negative, so minus 16x, and then we've got plus 15. And that is all over 5 minus x squared cubed. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up and if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.